Um, so here we are. We've reached the base of the mountain itself, and uh, I guess the most notable thing at this spot is that there's this covering of this dark stuff, and then sticking out of it is cactus. So it looks for all the world like a little patch of desert right here. Um, this. I didn't bring my water bottle. If anybody can spare a few drops, we could see how quickly this moss will green up. Can we? Just Out here, you can squeeze it and it'll squirt. Which moss variety is this, Jim? I call this the black moss. It's Grimia levigata is the scientific name, and some of the water's running off, but at least the spot we have got that'll be green. Um, in uh, no time at all. <laughs> and so with this, uh, it's basically dormant here. It is sleeping, oh, wow. waiting for water. And then uh, as soon as we get a shower or it gets artificially watered, <laughs> see how quickly? And you can already tell oh, yeah. the spot at, uh, where I hit, hit it with the water. If it had rained here yesterday, like it did where I was, then the moss would already be green. And the drier this is, it typically greens up quicker when it gets moisture added with the rain uh, or water. I yeah, I don't know. Like it uh, it re it greens up pretty quickly, on no matter what. And so uh, I would think that the drier and blacker it, it is. Probably the little slower it would take to reach the true green. But that was less than a minute ago, I'd say, and now it's already <laughs> conspicuously green. Wow. Uh, most of what we see here is sort of brownish, greenish crust, is uh, a, a crust those like and they call the rock olive. Um, particularly when it's moist, when if you look at it with heavy magnification, it looks like uh, clusters of olives with the pit taken out and, and pimento stuck in there. So the, there's a little red thing in the middle of it. So that's why it's called the rock olive. It also has a much more olive green color when it's moist. Now it's dry and dormant, waiting for rain. This typically grows where there's a water course. So if it were to rain in the next minute or two, water would start to flow and you could see exactly where the water flows because that's where this lichen grows. So you have this dark stain, which is a crustose lichen that it, whose name I don't really, can't tell you. It's probably a varicaria, but I'm not sure. But then there's this more thickened, browner is the Dulcula cylindrica, the rock olive like And again, it's a characteristic of places where the water flows over the rock after a rain. Little so cushions. So uh, lichens come in three different kinds of growth forms. There's a crust, like that yellow crust on that boulder over there. There are some that look like miniature shrubs. And that's what this is. This is a fruticose lichen, the ones that look like miniature shrubs. And then the third category are the lichens that have a flattened body, almost like a leaf. And that's typically what you find growing on the uh, bark and on some of the some of the rock. So this is a flattened flattened like a leaf, and so you can pull it away. So this is a folios, or leaf-like lichen. We've got folios, we have crustos, and we have fruticos growth forms for these lichens. Jim, do we see two different kinds here of, of moss? Yes. This and this? This is a different moss from this. This is the first little one that I wet, right. black moss, grimy, alligator. And this is a, a greener one 
I think this is Campylopus. Uh, mm -hmm. It might be a dicranum. No, now that I think about it. I think this is a dicranum. Uh, it would green up, too, not quite as dramatically as the uh, black moth does. 